Hi everybody, my name is Wendy. I am LeChat educator and I am from Mexico. So I'm so glad to be here today and I want to share today how to do lead system with our perfect match. So let me sh um, introduce you to the, to the product. Okay, so I'm going to use my beautiful model, Mary. She will be my mother, and I'm going to do um, two simple designs in her natural nails. So the first thing that I have to do is um, sanitize. I'm going to use my jelly cleanser to clean very well my nail bed. And now I can file and shape. So I'm going to shape a little bit on the side ones, just to make the right shape. Just to make sure that everything is okay. And then I'm going to file a little bit just around the cuticle area. I don't have to go all the way to the nail because the more oily part of the nail is in this area. So I just want to make sure to clean up here. So I want to do in this in the both nails. Okay. And then I'm going to use my buffer, my white buffer, just to go all the way down to the nail bed. So this is way to prepare the nail is going to save me first, I'm going to save time, and also I'm going to make um, more gentle the application for my customer. So they will keep my customer finger nail growing very fast and beautiful. Again, I'm going to use my cleanser to remove all the dust. So now these nails are prepared. Okay, I'm going to use my bonder. I don't know if this is okay. My bonder is um is a very nice product that's going to help me to get the product stay in the nail. So it's going to prevent the chip and the lifting. And now we're going to start to make the product application. I'm going to start first with um, just the regular color because um, I received a lot of emails about the concern about just the simple application of the of the dip. You know, it's very simple. It's just when you practice, you get, you know, because sometimes they say, oh, it's a little hard to do dip. So when you practice and you know really well the products, you can make a very, very successful application. Fast, simple, and will be very, very, you know, the customer, they really like this kind of application. So first I'm going to use the clear powder and I'm going to use my French base. Okay. My French base I'm going to apply only in the center of the nail three quarter of the nail to the tip. And we go into dip. Very simple, very fast. So we don't have uh, to go all the way inside the powder because this clear powder is very fine. So at the time you go inside, the powder will be absorbed for the glue. I'm going to do one by one. And then we're going to do, I'm going to use my brush. This is my new brush from the chat. So will be the next month in your supplies. So as for them, it's a very, very nice 
brush to remove all the dust from the nail and then I can use um, I'm going to use this color I love this color so much this plumeria is the 100 one and I'm going to use my color base so this is uh, the trick to make simple okay so when you are doing um, color you're going to use the color base when you are doing um, clear or pink and white so you see French French base so you can see which base go with which color of powder So again, I'm going to use my base, my color base. And here is um, the trick. We're going to start in the center of the nail and then we're going to the side walls. It's very important when you use already gel polish, usually we try to press, press, press the gel. But when, you, when we do dip, we're going to lay down a little bit the brush and we're going all the way around the cuticle area try to make even so you don't have to be rushed because the glue is not drying until you put the activator okay so don't be rushed we cover and then we go all the way inside yeah you see we get all the color so we can wait a little bit so the color will be absorbed for the glue. And we're going to do two times. Okay, so I remove again a little bit the dust. We always have to clean up very well. And now I'm going to use again my powder and me and my color base okay so just uh, make sure now we're going to go all the way around the cuticle area side walls okay And I go in inside the powder again. So this is what we do already. So first layer, uh, French base with clear powder, and then two layers with the color base and the color that we decide to use and then we're going to use again the clear powder why because i i say it's like a sandwich you know so we do like clear powder and then color powder and then clear powder again so it will be more easy to shape and the pigment will stay in the nail so we remove and i'm going to use my French base with my clear powder. Okay. But this, uh, this one is very, very light. I don't have to be like, uh, I don't want to have uh, thick, uh, thick layers. I just want to have very, very thin layers. And then I go into the clear one. Yeah. So now I clean up and I'm going to use my activator. The activator is very important to use because if, don't, if you don't put the activator, it's not going to dry. Usually, you know, for example, the gels, you have to put inside the light to cure. So when you put inside the light, 
the gel going to dry right away, right? But with deep system, you have to use the activator. So the activator is going to dry the glue. So after this, you can file, you can shape. Okay. So you're going to see when you press a little bit here and you see is when you touch, you can see it's already the mark. So it means it's not dry enough. So you need to wait. So here, because we are doing um, just one finger and one time, well, it takes a little while. But when you do in your salon, you have to do the 10 fingers. So by the time you do the, ten, the number 10 finger, this is going to be dry. So you can start drying. You can start frying. Okay, so, hello, mis amigas de México, chicas latinas. Este, estoy muy contenta de estar aquí con ustedes. I'm going to let try a little bit, and I'm going to talk a little Spanish to my friends that they are seeing also the live videos. Estamos el día de hoy haciendo una aplicación con el sistema DIP. Es una, es una aplicación sencilla. Primero estamos trabajando una aplicación básica y después vamos a aplicar una, un poquito de diseño en el segundo dedito. El sistema de DIP es un sistema muy fácil, muy sencillo de trabajar. Una vez que ustedes este, lo empiezan a trabajar, ustedes ya empiezan a ver cómo se trabaja el producto y va a ser mucho más rápida la aplicación, más fácil y también nos va a dejar mucho más, más rendimiento en cuestión de ganancias. O sea, podemos ganar más dinero con este tipo de sistema. Este sistema no necesitamos utilizar lámpara. Este, solamente utilizamos este, nuestros productos que ahorita en, la, en el video, ustedes pueden regresar el video, tenemos este, los pasos que usamos, que es este, aplicar nuestro, nuestra base y luego nuestro polvo. Entonces les digo yo, es como si fuera un sándwich. Primero aplicamos nuestro producto, lo que es el polvo transparente, después dos capas del color y ya después otra vez transparente. Para finalizar vamos a poner nuestro activador porque el activador lo que nos va a hacer es que nos va a secar la uña. Entonces ya ustedes oigan como ya está seca y ahora sí ya podemos empezar a limar. Ok. So we're going to start to file. So if we do two thin layers we don't have to file too much. Si hicimos nuestras, nuestra, nuestra aplicación como debe ser, que son capas delgaditas, nosotros no tenemos que limar mucho. Solamente concentrarnos en el área de, en el área de cutícula y lo que es este, las paredes de la uña. Entonces vamos a limar suavemente. I am using my file 180-100. So it's very, very fine file. I just want to make uh, everything shine, smooth, even. Vamos a buscar que nuestra uña quede lo más lisita posible, sin ningún bordo, para que también nuestro acabado nos quede totalmente transparente. Chicas, síganos en nuestras redes sociales. Síganos aquí, suscríbanse al canal de YouTube, Instagram. Donde nosotros este, estamos publicando este, muchos videos con todo lo que son este, diseños, cosas nuevas, cosas interesantes para ustedes y sobre todo el uso correcto del producto de lechas. Aquí, por ejemplo, si ustedes quieren hacer mucho más rápida la aplicación, pueden utilizar su drip, el, lo que es la maquinita, y así rápido acabamos. So you want to make more faster the application, you can use your drill machine. So I just file, I just file, I'm going to buff. Very well. And then I'm going 
going to clean. Okay. So usually in the salons, they used to send the customer to clean their hands or wash their hands with water. So one tip that I give to everybody, you can use our jelly gel cleanser. This one is a gel cleanser, but it's also a nail prep solution. So it's going to clean very well. It's now water inside this product, so it will be very, very dry, and it's going to remove all the dust, the tacky layer, oil. So we clean up very well. And after this, we can use um, our activator and then our top, our top coat. So I'm going to top coat both at the same time. I'm going to work here with the um, design. Okay, so I want to show you uh, this, uh, this one. The French natural powder. The French natural powder is a kind of, it's not like clear, clear. It's a little cloudy, but it's not really cloudy white. It ju it's just a natural base that make um, easy when you put um, colors, you know, like what I'm going to do, a design with, uh, with powders. So it's going to make a more solid base. So when you apply the colors, it's going to pop up, make more the colors. So again, I'm going to use uh, my French base. En esta ocasión, voy a utilizar la, el polvo natural, que el polvo natural lo que nos hace es una capa un poquito más sólida. Entonces, cuando nosotros hacemos un diseño con polvos de colores, va a ser mucho más fácil que los colores resalten. Entonces, la primera capa la vamos a utilizar nuestra French base y lo vamos a hacer igual que la anterior, tres cuartos de la uña hacia borde libre y solamente en el centro. So again, we're going to do same. We're going to start three quarters of the nail to the free edge and just in the center. This, why this? First, we're going to protect a little bit more and also we're going to make a little more secure so when the nails are too flat, it's going to look more beautiful, more, uh, with more style. And also when you file, usually we file, so we want to make a little round the nail. So when we file, we left the space here, so the color can come in, and then when we file, we don't take out the color. So the color will be very, very even like this. Clean up. And then I'm going to use my color. My color base for this design will be um, Angel from Above. It's a light blue. It's a very beautiful blue. I really love this color. And I'm going to use again my color base. So I'm going to make very sure to go this layer must to be thin. Always uh, the layer must to be very, very thin. Just lay down your brush and dip. Okay. So this will be my color base for my design. Entonces aquí lo primero que hice, apliqué mi capa muy delgada del color y esta va a ser mi capa base para el diseño que voy a hacer. Voy a hacer un tipo como marmoleado con diferentes colores. En este caso, déjenme, les muestro, es el color Brazilian Sun, Aldat Sass y voy a utilizar un poquito de glitters el 241 
que es también es un color, es, es un polvo para dip, pero trae un poquito de glitters. Porque en, nuestra, en nuestro en nuestra sistema nosotros este, manejamos tanto colores este, sólidos como de glitter. So for this design, I'm going to use um, these two colors. It's the number two, 201 and 179. And also I'm going to use uh, one color with glitter, this is the 241 just to make a little spark. So I'm just going to clean up. And then I'm going to use again my color base. My hair is not here, yes. Okay, so I'm going to clean to put my base. And then with my ombre brush, I'm going to take a little spot and I'm going to put in some places, just tap and then again. We just want some places with the color and then I can put the glitter on top. You see? It's like watercolor paint. So we're going to wait a little bit and then I just can just clean up a little bit. And then I'm going to use my clear powder to encapsulate. Very, very thin layer. I don't want to do thick layers. Very thin layer and I go all the way inside. Yeah. So after this, we can clean up and then we're going to use the activator. Entonces aquí yo lo que hice fue que apliqué una capa muy delgadita de la base y empecé con mi pincel de para hombre de lechat, este es nuevo, entonces acá va a salir al mercado el próximo mes, entonces vayan haciendo sus pedidos, chicas. Y con este empecé a trabajar solamente como pegando sobre lo, el área donde yo quiero que quede mi color. Y ya de esa manera me queda un efecto como de acuarelas. Y ahora sí, limpio y voy a utilizar mi activador. One of the common question when you are beginning, uh, they always ask me if the activator you can use in each layer. So I don't recommend to use in each layer. We must to use only in the last layer before we're going to shade and file. If we put in each layer, The problem will be that all our brushes will be go dry because as soon the brush touch the activator is going to get dry. So be careful with that. So let me clean, take out my, my powders and now I can start to file and shape. But you can see it's very natural It looks like her natural nail because I don't want to do like uh, thick, thick nails. So I'm going to start to file. Same thing around cuticle area. We must to be careful here. Just clean up very well. Okay. Free edge. Then, sorry, Marie. <laughs> I am so disappointed that you cannot see Mary's face because she's very, very beautiful. Yeah. So you can see her nails are very beautiful. So you can imagine how she looks. <laughs> okay, so we file just um, to make everything even and smooth. 
vamos a limar para hacer todo bien, bien, bien parejito, que quede la uña, la superficie bien lisa y suave. Igual voy a limar con mi lima cebra del número 100, 180. Muy bien. So once is everything is smooth and clean. Okay. So again, I'm going to remove the powder from the nails. And then instead of send her to clean or wash her hands, I'm going to use my cleanser. Okay. So when we use a uh, deep system, it's very important that we buff very, very well. Because if we buff right, we're going to have more shiny in the nail once we apply the top coat. Okay. I'm just going to clean up very well. Okay. Looks very, very beautiful. I love it. Well, what, what can I say? I, what can I say, right? It's my work. <laughs> But I love uh, the product, how it works. It's very nice, very simple. And now I'm going to use my activator again. So the activator I'm going to apply just um, in the center of the nail. See? The activator is going to help me to cure the top coat. If you don't put the activator, the top coat is not going to dry, right? So we need to put the activator, let dry a little bit, because uh, remember, if you put your top coat right away, so your brush is going to touch the activator that is not dry enough. So when it's touched, you can damage your brush because it's going to get hard. So most to let dry a little bit, so again, when you are working in the salon, a full set, so you put the activator here to here. So when you finish the number 10, you come back and this one is ready to start to top coat. Entonces, chicas, aquí ya lo que apliqué fue el activado. Lime, pulí perfectamente. Entre ustedes en este caso, nosotros a diferencia de cuando hacemos un acrílico un gel, en el dip, mientras ustedes dejen más pulidita la uña, mucho más bonita y más brillante les va a quedar la uña. Entonces nosotros aquí aplicamos nuestro activador. Es bien importante que el activador lo aplicamos y lo vamos a dejar este, como que se evapore tantito. ¿Para qué? Para que al momento de que ustedes apliquen el top coat, sea fácil de que se seque. Pero si ustedes aplican el top coat, inmediatamente después de que ponen el activador, corren el riesgo de que se les daña el, el pincel de su top coat. ¿Por qué? Porque recuerden que lo que seca el top coat es el activador. Entonces, si ustedes lo aplican e inmediatamente aplican el top, se les va a dañar la brocha. Entonces, tienen que esperar, aplican. De aquí a que aplican al décimo dedito, bueno, ya pueden ustedes empezar a aplicar top coat en esta mano. ¿va? Pero necesitan tener cuidado de que se evapore perfectamente el activador antes de que nosotros aplicamos el top coat. Now, um, sometimes um, they ask me about the uh, top coat because it's not get shine, it's not get a nice look. So what I do is first we're going to apply a very thin, thin layer and very fast. The first layer will be very, very thin and fast. And then we're going to do a second layer, a little more like uh, you're going to like flow the brush. And this is going to be very shiny and very beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to apply very fast, thin layer. And it's going to dry. Very, very fast. 
thin layer. So when it's cured, you're going to see that it start to go matte. So when it's go matte, it's the time to apply the second layer. Okay. Also, I want to show you because um, sometimes the customer, they like like uh, more shine and more resistant, uh, shiny uh, finish. So we can also use our Mirano, Mirano top coat. So this, uh, this is cured in the light. So sometimes, you know, for example, the customer, they like like more shiny and they use a lot of, I don't know, uh, different kind of um, liquids that can damage the shine with the top coat, just the regular top coat. You can use the Mirano top coat. It's a gel, it's not cleansing. It's very shiny and even, even after four weeks, the, the customer come back and it's still shiny. And also this one, um, this one is not tacky. So it means that you can use, uh, you just can put cure in the light and that is. Also this one you can use for the chrome or for acrylic for gel polish so it's a very versatile gel and now is one of the only in the market that will stay over the deep system because usually when you do deep system when you apply the Mirano I'm sorry when you apply any kind of gel the gel will peel off but when you apply Mirano top coat it's going to stay and it will be very very shiny so now we finish and you can see this is uh, just the regular top coat from the deep system and you can see it's very very shiny and dry so i hope this like to you um, i really enjoy to share with you this uh this two design and this deep system i love because um, this is a perfect match is part of our perfect match line. Perfect match means that um, is three products that match uh, match with the same color. For example, we have the polish, we have the gel polish, and we have the deep powder, and it's the perfect match. So I hope you love this design as soon as like I love it. I love to work with deep system, and thank you for share with me this time. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you for following me. Bye.